Good evening, Bulldog family. Today, state officials announced they will recommend to the State Board of Education that Oklahoma students not return to the classroom for the remainder of the current school year as our state continues to fight the spread of COVID-19. They will instead recommend a continuous learning plan that will allow students to complete the school year at home. It is important to note that this decision is not final until the State Board of Education meets on Monday, or excuse me, on Wednesday and votes to approve the recommendation. We are sharing this information with you in advance, however, so that you can begin to prepare accordingly for your family. We understand this recommendation is in the best interest of everyone's health, which is our greatest priority at our district. If approved, this also means that all extracurricular activities and special events will be canceled as well. Making these difficult decisions, we believe, is simply the right thing to do for our students, our staff, and our community. We do have good news. Altus Public Schools is developing a plan to ensure your child will continue to have opportunities to learn and to grow academically, especially with parental support. Because we are unable to safely gather together, these lessons and activities will be primarily delivered and communicated in creative ways. As you can imagine, this is a significant transition for our students and our teachers. Altus Public Schools will spend the next two weeks planning for this effort and will share details with your family as soon as they are available. Teachers and support staff members will hear from their principals or myself soon as we gather input regarding the next phase of our school closure. With remote or distance learning beginning on April 8th, that leaves 27 lost days of school. Some of these days would have included extracurricular events, state testing days, award assemblies, and many others. For students, it is likely, for students, it likely will be sad and disappointing to learn that school as they know it will not resume this year. Please give them a safe place to express their feelings and to vent about the changes in their life. For our seniors and their parents, we know it is an especially difficult time. We will do everything possible to ensure their efforts are recognized and celebrated in special and unique ways. This is an unfair situation, but please reassure them that it does not diminish their accomplishments. In fact, it will become one more example of how they demonstrated their strength as Bulldogs. We have posted resources on our website including information about free breakfast and lunch for students under the age of 18, which will continue, as well as answers to frequently asked questions regarding the school closure. You can find these details and more by visiting our website, altusps.com. The site also includes recommendations from the CDC about protecting your health and the health of your loved ones. We ask you to please follow their advice by number one, washing your hands regularly, number two, staying at home if you can, and number three, practicing social distancing of at least six feet from others. This is an unprecedented situation and it has required an unprecedented response. We can still take care of Altus's students though. This is a community that sticks together in challenging times and, do, and we know this experience will be no different. As soon as we identify our next steps, we will share them with you. Please stay safe. As always, we appreciate your support and may God continue to bless Altus Public Schools.